Classic versus Lightning. We'll talk through the differences between both of these flavors of Salesforce, Salesforce Classic and Salesforce Lightning, and I'll talk through how they differ from a user perspective as well as from an administrative perspective. From a user's perspective, Salesforce Classic has nothing that Lightning does not have. To add to the Salesforce Lightning differences, there's a few features that help Salesforce Lightning be much more action oriented. To name a few, there is a sales path, which now guides the ability to move leads to become qualified, as well as opportunities to be closed one. There's an opportunity Kanban view, as well as the ability to customize your Salesforce homepage and the tabs that are available on different records. So Lightning has additional features that help Salesforce and the individuals who use Salesforce Lightning to be much, much more action oriented. Classic is still seen as that filing cabinet where you can just input information and go back and sort through. The architecture between Salesforce Classic and Salesforce Lightning is where we see very large differences. In Salesforce Classic, it was built upon a page-based architecture, which essentially means that if one edit happens on the page, the entire page needs to update. It's as if when you're writing something and you make an error on that page and you wanna write a new page, you have to scrap that whole paper and Salesforce has to rethink and rebuild that entire page with the new word or new edit. Whereas in Salesforce Lightning, this is a single page architecture or a component based architecture. This is more similar to Legos or building blocks. This allows you to build component by component and when edits are made to the component, you don't need to scratch the entire page and Salesforce doesn't need to rethink the entire page. It simply needs to update that component. This allows for much quicker processing time in terms of edits, in terms of customization, and really anything from an administrative side that's done on Salesforce. And this is a big reason why Salesforce upgraded the architecture to a component-based layout, knowing that as Salesforce grows and the ecosystem grows, there's not only a greater need to customize Salesforce, but also have different plugins and different apps built into Salesforce. Let me know if I've missed anything, if you have any questions, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.